Salome and today I will be showing you how to use Canvas. With Woolsey Hall I use Canvas to communicate with my teachers. All my learning material that I need can be accessed through it as well and my teachers can post my grades, other information and assignment feedback on it. In this video I'll be showing you a few screen recordings of what else can be done through Canvas. So here from the dashboard I click on courses and then it'll give me the options of all my favourite courses. I'll take chemistry for example and then it'll give you a bit of general information on this page, on your home page. Then you can also go to announcements to see course specific announcements. And then here I can access my module and then it'll show me all the links and other websites that I can click on in order to complete my module. So it will have YouTube videos and all that. And then I can also access my program of study, syllabus and general resources on the module page. You can also access all your assignments from this page and then you just click on them to download them. It'll go to new website and then you can just download them and you can also access your grades from here it'll have a total at the bottom in percentage as well and then you can just arrange them in different orders and then choose which course you want to see the grades for and then here you can also go to all courses because those are just my favorites which I'm currently doing and then you can go and see your past enrollments as well The module gives you everything you need to work through in order to be ready for your next assignment. It has YouTube videos and website links for additional information and tells you which pages of the textbook to go through as well. So here's just an example of the program of study and then it just shows you your whole module and just gives you everything to go through in order to complete the module. A quiz is something you can complete when you've gone through your module and it helps you practice before you start your assignment. A quiz can be done as many times as you want. An assignment is something you work on and then hand in to your teacher. Your teacher will then grade you. Assignments help you and your teacher to see how your knowledge of the subject is progressing and to see if there are any topics you are struggling with. Each assignment can only be done once. Are the students? No, everything is self-study. You go through all the work and resources at your own pace. This makes it very flexible as it allows you to adapt your study time around your schedule. This also allows you to go through everything at your own pace and understand it thoroughly. Having discipline to do self-study and making your own schedule develops great skills. It will help you a lot once you get to university or at a job where you also need to do a lot of self-study and not rely so much on teachers. It really helps you to become an independent learner. It is very easy to use. All assignments are submitted through Canvas and in the next slide I will show you how. So here you just say choose file and then you click on the assignment that you want to submit. You can say open and then you just click or you can write a comment and then you just say submit assignment. And then you have submitted your assignments so it is very easy to use. Tutors mark your assignments and give you feedback. They also help you with any questions you have about your module or even questions about your assignments. So it takes around a week or so for my teachers to mark my assignments. It is usually very quick. I get a notification from Canvas itself on my phone to notify me that my assignment has been marked and I get an email as well. So it's very easy to know when your assignments have been marked. Bit will show you how to view your feedback and what it looks like. I always write down the feedback on my assignments and correct everything I did wrong. I use it to improve my on my next assignments and also use it when studying for exams. So from my dashboard here I'm just going to go to maths for example and then I'll go to my grades and then I'll just go to my last assignment. You can click on whichever you have and then here you'll just see the feedback. So here at the right side you will see your tutor's feedback which he has written for you. And they might give you your marked assignment back so you can download it this way just by clicking on it. Or you can just click view feedback and then it'll load a bit and then you can see the feedback on here as well. I use either or. 
and so when you look at your assignment my teacher will just have comments on some of them and so you can see what you did right and what you did wrong. Communicating through Canvas is safe and private. It usually is a conversation just between you and your teacher. I'll show you a screen recording of how to contact your teacher. So here on the inbox page, you can see all your conversations with your teachers. And to send someone a message, you just click here on Compose a New Message. And then you can select the course that you want. So you can just go through the courses and then select which one you want to contact. So then here you can write the name of your tutor. Or you can click here and then go to teachers and then search for the name of your teacher. You can then just write a subject and then your basic message here. You can include links by clicking here or videos and then you can just click send. Announcements will pop up on your dashboard and each course has an announcement section. Many will also be sent as a notification on your email. Each month we have competitions and fun activities which make you feel part of the school community and it is a fun way of engaging in school activities. So here on the dashboard when you refresh it you'll see all the new announcements and you can just go through them and read all of your announcements. So it's pretty easy to find them and obviously you can find them on your email as well. And then here's the rest of my dashboard where I can just see all the tasks that I still need to complete. To put a task on your dashboard, you can go to your calendar. As you can see, all my events are here. And so in order to add one, you can just click on the date that you want to add one onto. And you can add in title, so I'll always say assignment or something. And then you can click the date if you did get it wrong. And you have a lot of options. And then you can just add in more information if you want to and then you click on submit and it'll show up on your calendar and your dashboard. Yes, my parents have access to my canvas as well and they can look at your courses and all your progress. I personally like using canvas, it is a really helpful online platform, you can access almost everything you need through canvas, it is easy to upload assignments and it is also a safe place to communicate with your teachers. Thank you for watching and enjoy your Woolsey Hall course using canvas.